Hi guys and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video of mine. So for today's video I thought that I'd do something different and since this is gonna be the first year that I'm participating, that I am participating in the Inktober challenge, I thought that I'd give myself another one and that is to draw as much hair drying as I possibly can in just one hour. So as some of you already know, I love to draw hair, but it always takes me like so much time to actually finish and draw one hair drying. So this is going to be a really difficult challenge for me. So please pray for me because uh, I don't know if I will be able to do this, but um, for this challenge, I'm going to use the brush markers and the fine liners and of course the graphite pencils for the sketch so we will see how many drawings i can possibly get and if i can get any kind of drawing in just one hour uh, so we can get started i'm just gonna go to my room now and we can start with the drawings so i prepared a color chart that i have from windsor and newton brush markers so i can choose quickly what colors do i need then I took a layout block because I think that for this challenge this is the best paper I could use because of the markers and the fine liners. Then of course the brush markers themselves and fine liners as well. And since everything is set we can start. <laughs> Okay, so uh, once I started off, it was like I was being chased by somebody. I was so nervous and under stress at first. I was rushing the sketch, I was quickly grabbing the colors for this one. I wasn't even thinking at first which color should I use exactly. I just grabbed an almond and a skipping brush marker and just started off with them. So it is a bit unusual color for the hair, but still I think that in the end it looked okay. So after that I took the fine liners and just tried to make the hair texture so in the end it will look okay. I was imitating the form of the hair and the texture but still I missed so many details here that I just didn't have enough time to work on them. And I wanted to get out of my comfort zone and leave some details and parts unfinished as you can see but I think that this one was a good start anyways. Then I rushed into another sketch and on this one I think I messed up the sketch and the proportions a bit but I wasn't paying too much attention to that at the moment. I was looking at the time every couple of minutes and the pressure, um, whether I will make it, uh, whether I will do something and that one hour was just crazy. Here I started off with lilac and pink pearl and it wasn't my intention for this hair drying to be this dark as in the end. But once I started off with the plum marker, I thought it was just too dark, so I took the maroon marker as well as rose pink, so eventually it became darker than I expected. But never mind, it is a good practice, and since this was so fast, I wasn't thinking too much, I was just trying to get as much hair drying as I possibly can. And of course, a part of that, every drying needed to look decent in the end, so I think that regarding the amount of time and regarding the darker tones, this turned out quite okay as well, and since I kept looking at the clock, I realized that I have a half an hour left, so needed to rush into another one again, not thinking too much about the color, just for the form. And I think that this drawing took me most of the time because of the colors and trying out to make it look good, even with those darker tones in the end. As for the third drawing, I choose another hairstyle and I quickly rushed into the sketch. I really like the form on this one and for this sketch I chose the brown hairstyle so I really enjoy doing this one. I started to relax a bit after realizing that I am on a third drawing so once I started off with the sketching I realized that this sketch was the biggest one but I didn't mind it because I didn't have enough time. I thought that I didn't have enough time to erase everything and then I um, and then to start everything uh, again. So I just left it like this as the biggest hair drying in the whole composition. I was mixing cinnamon with dusky pink as the base layers and a bit of cocoa in the end uh, just so I can get some darker tones. Then I was finishing it with fine liners like the previous two ones. But I think that in this sketch you can see that I'm a bit more relaxed and that the drawings and the composition of them is starting to look pretty good. 
And apart of that, I kind of liked not having that much details and not paying too much attention to every bits and pieces of the sketch, just loosening up a bit with this challenge. After half an hour of craziness in my head, I finally started to actually love this whole idea since this is something different than what I'm used to drawing. And for the fourth one and the last one, I got the form wrong, but since I looked at a time and I realized that I still have enough time left, I was doing the sketch two times since I didn't like the first one. I don't know why I chose to color it blue, but that was the first color that I saw in my box, so I just thought it would look good for the last drawing to be in blue color since the first one and the third one was in like blonde and brown, which can be understood as kind of a natural colors. I thought to make the balance by making the second and the fourth one more opaque color style, if you can say like that, but anyways, you know what I mean. Anyways, I choose this form for the last drawing and it was really fun doing this one. I used just two markers for this one, Cool Aqua and Cyan color, and I was thinking that it looked really interesting along with the form of the hair and the hairstyle. I was sure at this point that I will uh, manage to do four drawings in an hour and I was pretty much happy for it. The hairstyles were different forms and colors as well, so I really was happy in the end how my brain worked, getting out of the comfort zone, creating something that you don't usually create, and trying to do something for just 60 minutes. So I think that's all, and as you can see in the video, I filmed everything at once, so you can see the numbers here, I even have a couple of minutes left, which is really really great. Anyways, these are the finished drawings. I think they all look pretty much okay. Now this was such an interesting challenge for me because I even managed to get like four hair drawings in just one hour, so I'm really happy. And I really, I am a bit sad, not really, but a bit sad because of, um, really sad because I didn't do the fifth one and it will look so good on the whole composition of the hair drawings. But anyways, I'm really happy because it, it took me around like 15 minutes to finish each one of them. So I'm really happy because of that. And I will definitely be giving myself a couple of more challenges because I think it's really good to get out of the comfort zone and to try out something different and something new when it comes to drawing. So I truly hope that you like this. Please let me know in the comments down below which one do you like the most. That will be all for today's video. If you didn't subscribe, please do. That will mean the world to me. And I see you all in the next video. Bye, guys.